Hey, it's Craig in the Sports Cabin on this Friday. How about that game last night? If you didn't watch the UH win over Cincy last night, I think you missed some serious Thursday speculation. For one thing, ESPN carried the game. Houston fans couldn't have been more excited, getting some national exposure once again. Of course, in Cincy, a town star for winners, given the hopeless state of the Reds and the playoff doomed Bengals, it was also a big deal. I got the impression, and of course the guy said it several times working the game, the winner of the game would not only be on track for the NCAA championship, but would also get an automatic bid to the Big 12. Of course, both those things are overblown. At game's end, the Cougs had a runaway win uh, in which they ran away in the last nine minutes or so. So I assume, I can only assume, they are now automatically in the Big 12. Since he must be close, though, to getting into the Big 10. They beat Purdue last week, and aside from Ohio State and Michigan, the lads in the Midwest could use some help. Cincinnati would be perfect for the Big Ten. I think the Cougs, too, are thinking small. They could easily be a big shot in, let's say, the Pac-12. Well, they'd get a lot of fancier road trips, stop kissing the butts of the OU and UT high rollers, and start planning on taking the family to Los Angeles and Eugene. Not that Lubbock isn't attractive, mind you. And according to the people I talked to last night, both of them, Houston is a shoe-in to get a Big 12 bid. I just think they shouldn't limit their thinking to one conference. Hell, maybe the SEC would like to trade Missouri. I think that's a given. This is Craig Roberts on Click2Houston.com.